well, when we started this, our, our biggest goal was to try to match up Gunner in game two. We just felt that we didn't know it early on who we would play, but we felt both both of them matched up good for him. Um, he kept the, the leadoff hitters off. He kept a, a real good action team down, and that's 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 what he's best at is, is slowing the game down. And uh, so that's why we kind of matched him up there. He did a great job, especially as hot it is out there today and that humidity. Uh, our hitters did a great job. Uh, Steph and B and our hitters really did a great job getting on the board early, uh, getting some timely hitting, and then just playing good defense again. So again, uh, we were able to go out and pitch, play good defense, get timely hitting, execute some bunts, uh, execute a double squeeze. And um, so again, I, I thought our guys just did a great job of, again, waiting and waiting to play. Uh, game pushed back again a little bit, wasn't too bad. And um, you know, being able to stay focused and doing the three things that we really want to do is, is pitch and play defense and get timely hitting. So I'm proud of them. They'll get some rest tonight and be ready to go tomorrow. Okay, questions for players. We've got starting pitcher Gunnar Leje, Brian Mills with a couple of RBIs, and of course Stefan Trostler, two for three with a home run, three RBIs. Brian, can you go over that uh, that, that double squeeze? Uh, how early did you guys put it on? Uh well, um, when when they called time and had the little mound visit, uh, coach had told me that uh, if we squeeze right here, um, make sure you try to get it back to the pitcher. So uh, I kind of knew it was coming, um, especially when I was in a positive count and um, they was looking to throw a strike right there. So I was expecting him to give it to me. And he gave it to me. So. Uh, Stephen, uh, Arizona didn't strike out a single one of y'all today. Uh, as hitters, wow. how does that feel? It's great. We uh, came out grinding out at bats. We we uh, came out from pitch one, <clears throat> ready to play, and I, I think that that's what helps us. Uh, well, I mean, it's a lot easier when you got a three-run cushion after the first inning. But um, I mean, I was just trying to get ahead. I knew that, uh, like Coach said, they're an action team. Uh, when you cut that leadoff guy down, that kind of kills their offense. Um, so I, mean, I, I just tried to attack. Um, I mean, again, the hitters, props to the hitters, man. We always talk about our pitching, but the hitters have been picking us up a lot lately. Um, so props to them. And um, so. Coach Rogue always talks about tying the hit. Uh, it seems like you guys got your runs on just the right amount of hits. What was it in y'all's mind today that kind of locked in? Well, before the game, we were talking with Coach, and uh, we wanted to come out from pitch one and be ready to play. And uh, that was a, a big, big thing today. And no matter when pitch one was, what time it was for the rain and everything, we, we came out ready to play and from the beginning. And, and I think that's, that helped us through the game. Yeah, Stephen, that, I mean, you won this game. You play tomorrow and have a chance to win the whole thing in two games. If you lose this thing you have to play three times in like 24 hours. So is it, you guys have a sense of that uh, going into I know you don't look ahead in the future, but you kind of know yeah, we. I mean, we know how the bracket's set up and everything, but we uh, stay one pitch at a time, one game at a time, and just focus on what we can control and uh, worry about us. And if it happens, it happens. Last year, we in the conference tournament, we, we failed first game and had to bat our way back, so we, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll find a way to get it done. Uh, Gunner, how are you and the rest of the pitching staff looking at the, you know, all the, ga all the games that could be left in such a short time as it goes, as it goes like that? All the games left. All the games left uh, uh, that could happen if things. Oh, happen, oh, yeah. if, if talking about the rain delays and, yeah. um, I mean, it is what it is. We got we got a lot of guys, a lot of good pitchers. Um, so we, I mean, we have plenty of arms to run out there whenever. Um, I, I don't think I don't think that's a problem for us to to have trouble finding arms to throw. So um, I mean, the, kid, the hitters keep hitting like they do, and I think we can keep somebody from scoring ten. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all fall, we work on stuff like that. You know, it, it doesn't just rain during the season, it rains in the fall too. So we've had practices where we, we kind of work on, you know, it, we get rained out, we, we move to the indoor and stuff like that. We talk about that and we're prepared for it to, to just grind it out in any situation.
though. We're, we're, we're ready for it. All right. When you move the fund, what are you looking for? What did you get? And can you talk about a little bit about how you, you look really excited when you're back there behind first place? Well, uh, when I was in there, um, I was expecting the pitcher to throw a bad pitch. Uh, no matter where wh where the pitch was, I was gonna. I had it set in my mind that I'm gonna get it down and score score this run. I actually uh, didn't see Brad when he advanced, but uh, when the ball was thrown to first base, he actually scored too. So I, I really didn't know that both runners scored until I got back into the dugout. But um, I just went in there with the mindset of wherever he throw it, I'm gonna get it down to to score at least one of those runs. Uh, fastball up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe so. Yes, sir. <laughs> how much, how much button grind did you do before you got here, and then how satisfying was it to properly execute? Well, um, getting here, I, I really didn't butt much. Um, early in the season, I kind of struggled getting the butt down early, and um, Suge told me every day that we come out before practice, before BP, that I I have to butt a, a bucket of balls, so. Um, each day that we do BP on the field, um, I really work on button and executing. And it, it, it worked at that, that moment. Steph, you had your three-hole and five-hole both set fun. At, at one point in the same with Kyle and Bryn. What's that say kind of just about the mindset and kind of the selflessness of this team and just to kind of get the job done? Yeah, we, uh, we grind it out, try to find a way to win. doesn't matter if the three-hole has the bun or not. We, uh, we've worked, we all work on it. One through nine, every one of us can do it. And, I think it's uh, it's huge for our team to be able to win in different ways. Take one more for the players, if anybody's got it. Gunner, uh, it seems like they were trying to, like their strategy, and a couple teams have tried to use the strategy to so try to really work counts, watch a lot of pitches and try to work the pitch count. Did you kind of notice them trying to do that? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I was a little off today. Um, I mean, I got to do a better job of throwing strikes, especially we get two outs. I know. I mean, it seemed like every time I got two outs, I went 2-0 or 3-1 or something. Um, so, I mean, I got to do a better job of closing out an inning. Um, but, again, uh, I mean, that's what people do. They'll get on the plate. They'll try and work the count, make make me keep making pitches. So, I um, mean, that's that's a mark of a good team. They're a good team. So, uh, man, we're going to see that from, from now on, no matter who's on the mound or who we're facing. So, um, again, I mean, the hitters did a great job of picking me up. Uh, so... Thanks, guys. We'll let you guys go ahead and go. You guys can direct your